For this training footage, I'm going to do a voiceover commentating on some of the things I'm seeing in the clips of the squat, deadlift, and other accessory movements. So as I've been doing for the last three or four months, I start off with the squat, three sets of five at a set weight. I've been increasing the weight five pounds every week. Right now I'm at 230 pounds on the squat. I think I started at the beginning at 150 pounds on squat and then did five reps for three sets and just kept adding five pounds every week and repeating. I try to do two sessions like this, exactly like this. So squat, three sets of five, and then I split it up one on Sunday and then another one, another set of um, three by five on Wednesday or Thursday. And squat is just for me about slowly descending in a controlled manner and then using explosive strength to try to ex finish the movement. Now onto deadlifts, 280 pounds, 5 reps, 3 sets. I started with deadlifts I think at 200 pounds, yeah, and over the last 3 or 4 months adding 5 pounds every week. Two training sessions of three sets of five reps just like squat so I do the squat first and then deadlift after I had a, originally planned to do squat bench and deadlift but because of the right shoulder injury I cut out benching for about two months I think going on three months now no benching and for me deadlifts just Tighten up around the uh, lats and then start the movement. There I, I misgrooved and uh, had to reset. For deficit deadlifts, I used a conventional stance and basically just. Oh, I had to. Uh, I dropped the weight right there because I felt like callus ripping off on the pinky, so I um, used some chalk to help with the grip. This is my primary accessory movement after squat and deadlift, sumo deadlift, and I do this one on the training sessions on Sunday at home, deficit deadlifts, and if I'm at the commercial gym on Wednesday or Thursday, I do stiff leg deadlifts as the primary, the first accessory movement after squats and sumo deadlifts. I think with the combination of these type of deadlifts, I get enough variation, hoping that each of the deadlifts will kind of symbiotically or simultaneously improve one another. Now onto the upper body accessory movement starting with dumbbell shoulder press. I'm only doing the left side right now until I feel like the right shoulder is in good enough shape to do sort of do any sort of pressing on the right side until it's ready. So just 30 pounds on the dumbbell shoulder presses. Now doing chin-ups, I'm trying to do more uh, pull-ups or chin-ups or any sort of variation of that. I set up a portable one indoors and just whenever I get a chance just do a few pull-ups here and there, try to accumulate pull-up volume over the week. I'm trying to get like 25 to 30 reps total for a week. It's just uh, good for the back development and uh, for the lats. Now dumbbell curls. Only on the left side, I go all the way back in using the triceps to extend and then curl it 
supinating at the forearms and uh, lateral raises just uh, doing a seated so I have more uh, control and not use momentum and that's it for the workout